Hello everyone, Jerry Riz here coming to you with another video and today I have in front of me my daily driver, my Google Pixel 2. As you can see, I also have the IntelliGlass Pro. Now this is a glass screen protector, actually one of my favorite glass screen protectors that are actually on the market. I had it on my original Pixel, so I had to wait a little while because I had some stock issues, but I finally have it for my Pixel 2. And my Pixel 2 has now, up until now, I've used it every day since October, and it doesn't have any scratches, but I've been getting kind of worried, so now I'm going to put this on this. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's start with the screen protector and the unboxing. Actually, IntelliGlass Pro by IntelliArmor, that is the company. Uh, as you can see, it is for the Pixel 2, even though I wish they would uh, kind of uh, customize the boxing. This is an iPhone, but we can't be choosy here, so let's open this up. Out of here if it lets me. All right. So with the Intella Armor Intella Glass uh, screen protector, you get an alcohol swab to clean off your dirty screen. You get a a nice cloth that actually removes smudges pretty easily. An applicator tool, and this is the dust removal sticker. It is in the shape of an armadillo, which is kind of fun. It's one of the only companies that I've ever seen give like a shaped sticker to remove stuff from the screen, but that's nice. We have the actual glass itself. Let's pull it out. And you can see what's different about this than any pretty much all of the screen protectors I've ever seen. That is, it comes with black borders where, you know, the black borders are on the screen of this device. And even goes all the way to the edges. So if you ever get air bubbles in here, here, or the edges, you won't be able to see them, which is really nice because the, the phone does have curved edges. And this kind of takes care of that. On my rec on my original Pixel 2, um, I have a video over here where I checked out screen protectors on that phone. And this has been by far my favorite screen protector of that phone. Uh, you, the, right here, you, I don't know if you, you can't see it, but I could feel there is a slight curve to match the phone, which is really, really nice. Put that to the side. This is just some paperwork congratulating you for, uh, you know, buying the screen protector. But put all this to the side. What we're going to need is the phone. The screen protector can sit over here for right now. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, take out the cloth and uh, give it a wipe down. Wipe it down, get all that wetness off, even though this is a waterproof phone. I can't have any water droplets under the display. All right, that looks pretty good to me. But as you can see, there's a couple little dust droplets on the screen, which is what we're going to take care of with this. Now, let's get it on there. Now we have the screen protector on the device. Now you can see I got it all lined up with all the different ports. It does have the camera cut out, which is good because you really don't want any glass over the camera. It can mess with the, your selfies. It also has the cutout for the uh, ambient light sensor. That's your LED uh, indicator that's right there. And uh, you got your cutout for your bottom speaker as well. And what I will say is this is a different style screen protector than they had for the Pixel 2, which is kind of, I don't know how I feel about it. It's one of those ones that you don't, actually get any cling on the screen itself. It's all glued all around the edges, but it does seem to be holding rather well. And this is, it, it is concerning. I'm going to have to see how this works over the next uh, next week or a few days or so, but 
it's not my favorite style screen protector. I, I don't know why they didn't do it the same way that they did the, with the Pixel, the original Pixel, which was one of those cling types that laminated itself the whole screen. But uh, I, had, I don't have any bubbles. It looks pretty good. Now let's see how it works with a case. All right, have a Rinkin Slim case uh, here. Uh, a customized one. I did a video how to customize it. You can look right here. Um, I'll also have a link down below to uh, D brand and uh, Rinkin's cases because these are some of my favorite cases. It's a plastic on the back, TPU on the sides. It's actually a really cheap and nice case for your phone. So let's see if it actually works with the screen protector. And uh, it seems it does. It's got just enough on the edges here to. Uh, keep it from lifting I think. I don't know if you can, we can look real close up here but it doesn't seem to have, it doesn't seem to be pushing on the screen. The glue seems to be holding rather well which is nice. Like I said it's not my favorite style of screen protector but this might do. This is definitely the nicest one I've seen for this phone so far but uh, I'm gonna have to give it a go. Um, it seems to be decent but uh, let me know down below if you want to see any more videos like this. Uh, I'll let you know in, a, in like a week or so. I'll comment down below, let you know how this screen is doing. But uh, overall, it looks okay. But uh, we'll see how it goes. This has been Joey Riz. See you later.